In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use segment addition to find distance between two points. The segment addition postulate sounds fancy, but it's really pretty basic. Uh, for example, if I have segment AC, or the distance between A and C, and I place point B anywhere in between, then I've essentially cut up the segment AC into two parts. If I add those two parts together, then I get my total distance back. So in this example, the distance from A to C would be the same as if I took the dis distance from A to B and I added that to the distance from B to C, then that would get me from A to C. So it's all about just uh, adding up the two smaller segments or two smaller parts and setting it equal to the total segment or the longest part. Uh, we can start off with some easy examples. Just use some numbers or fractions just to get the hang of it. Usually we're told all the information we need to solve the problem. We just got to figure out how to set it up to help us solve. So in this example, we're told that the distance from A to B is 4 inches and the distance from A to C is 10 inches. So what we're missing is this distance from B to C. Well, if I know that from A to B is 4 inches, and I need a total of 10 inches, then I can use subtraction to figure out what my distance from B to C is. It's always helpful to just set it up, uh, adding the two smaller sections up and setting it equal to the total segment, and then just substituting and using algebra to solve. So if I substitute 4 for the distance from A to B, and 10 for the distance from A to C, then I can just use algebra to solve for BC. I would subtract 4 from both sides, and I would get my distance from B to C is 6 inches. Now in these easier examples, you can probably do it in your head, but uh, practicing setting it up and getting used to that will help you when the problems get a lot more complicated. Let's do one more with a fraction. This time we're told the distance from A to B is 3 fourths of a foot, and the distance from B to C is 7 eighths of a foot. So let's find the distance from A to C. So this time we're told the two smaller sections or parts from A to B and from B to C. So I know that I'm going to add the distance from A to B with the distance from B to C, and that will give me my total distance from A to C. So again, we set it up. That allows us to substitute and solve for what's missing. So from A to B is 3 fourths, from B to C is 7 eighths. In order to add fractions, we need a common denominator. I'm going to change this 3 fourths to 6 eighths, multiply by 2. Now I got common denominators and I can add my tops. 6 plus 7 is 13, keep the denominator the same. And so our distance from A to C is 13 eighths of a foot or 1 and 5 eighths of a foot. Let's get a little bit more complicated and see why we really want to set it up first. Same figure, so I'm going to go back up and show that in a sec. If the distance from A to B is 6, and the distance from B to C is unknown, or x, and the distance from A to C is 15, then find BC or solve for x might be a, another way to, to ask the question. Well, we already know that AB plus BC equals AC. We're using the same figure here. So the distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C is the total distance from A to C. And so we set it up first and substitute the distance from A to B was 6, distance from B to C was X, and distance from A to C was 15. Solve for X, subtract 6 from both sides, and we get X is 9, or the distance from B to C is 9. It's always helpful to check your answers as well. We know that 9 plus 6 is, in fact, 15. It makes more sense when we get more complicated problems. I like this next one. This time we got a variable in two different terms. A little bit more algebra to do here. This time we're told that the distance from A to B is 3x, and the distance from B to C is 5x plus 3, 
and the distance from A to C is 19. We're going to have to solve for X and then find the distance from A to B. So if we can solve for X, then we can plug it back in and find that distance from A to B. Same figure, same situation, same setup. AB plus BC equals AC. We're substituting what we know. AB is 3X. BC is 5X plus 3. And AC is 19. Now that it's set up, let's combine like terms. 3X and 5X give us 8X. We'll leave that plus 3 alone for a sec. And it still equals 19. So let's get X by itself. We'll work outside in. We'll get rid of this 3 first. We're adding 3. The opposite of that would be subtract 3 from both sides. So now we have 8x equals 16. To undo this multiplication and get x by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 8. And so we get our x is 2. But that wasn't the question. The question was find the distance from a to b. So now that we know that x is 2, I'm going to plug it back in. We know that AB is 3X, and if X is 2, then AB is 3 times 2. So the distance from A to B ends up being 6. We can actually do a little bit more if we wanted to check our work. Since we know that X is 2, I could plug it back into that BC term, and I would get 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So BC is 13, and 13 plus 6 does in fact give us that AC total of 19. So it's always good to check it, see if everything's working out. But essentially, those are the three types of problems you'll see. You'll see ones with just integers or fractions, one where you may have to solve for one variable, and another where it gets a little bit more complicated, where you might have to solve for X first, then substitute to find your distances. So good luck using segment addition to find distance.